Rush Farm. So Portmore is where we're at. So stay tuned, guys. So we're gonna take a look at Portmore. Alright guys, so as I mentioned before, it's just a quick video just highlighting the amazing development that's happening in Portmore, this side of Portmore, the Portmore Pines area. So this road in front of me is the Municipal Boulevard to the left that brings you back to um, Ferry. And to the right street across the stoplight will bring you to Elsha. To the left is Brayton Parkway to the right is Brayton Parkway as well so a quick video I'm gonna highlight most of the major commercial businesses in this area even this plaza is pretty new I have a video on it the Ongway Plaza lots of shops probably over 100 shops I'll put the link in the comments for this plaza um, so you guys can check it out um, when I set up the drone I'm gonna highlight you know of course the Ibex Technology Park G Tech Technology Park. I'm gonna highlight um, the Scotia Bank, the CIBC. Um, we have also Fantana now. We have um, Starbucks, Quartz, um, Price Mart for sure, the Portmore um, Municipal Corporation offices, the police station. Um, we have some other plazas down that side. You have cinema as well. Um, that's where Sovereign is and Sunshine, I think Sunshine Shopping Center that's the name. So yeah, when I send up the drone, I'll just try to highlight as much as I can for you guys. But the main reason we're here, we have been tracking the G-Tech Techno Technology Park. And again, this is the G-Tech Technology Park. So it's one, two, the tree is blocking building number two. And then the third building is still under construction. So that's, that's the main feature of this building, just highlighting this G Tech Park, which is home to the Ibex Call Center. Um, it's a multi million dollar development by um, a popular businessman in Jamaica. But we're not going to only highlight this development, we're just going to showcase some of the other businesses in this area. Um, Portmore Pines is rapidly developing um, So yeah, that's why we're here today Alright, so, so there's talk to turn Portmore in Jamaica's 15 parish What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? What are your comments? I am not against that suggestion. The only thing I would say I would prefer that happens after Portmore get their state of the, the art hospital after they get you know probably another police station probably another high school um you know certain roads need to be expanded to manage the traffic as well but yes for sure portmore is one of the fastest growing both residential because that's where all of the communities are being built you know apartments are for kingston gated communities are for portmore not only that there's a lot of commercial development coming in so before out by portmore uh, mall closer to where the highway you yeah, exit the highway out oh, that side had all the development and business booming before but you know they're extending the commercial development and we see a lot of things happening this side um so yeah they want to turn it into a parish we know they're building the resilient park we're going to try to cover some of those areas we know saji core bro broke ground for a, a major i guess it's a shopping center slash um commercial hub we know there are talks to develop the Burner Lodge area with both residential and commercial but what do you think does Portmore deserve to be the next parish is it ready to get a parish status I don't think they're ready but what do you guys think but won't do too much talking just share your thoughts let me know you know rapid developments happening here in Portmore but share your thoughts let me know what you think um, and again I'm gonna set up the drone highlight as much of these commercial areas as possible right here in the Portmore Pines so stay tuned for that don't go anywhere all right so
So the drone is going up shortly. And again, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all that you do. I appreciate the support. Remember to like, share, and definitely subscribe. Subscribing is completely free. Thank you guys.
Thank you.